Hey ladies, what is up? We're going to do a nice, quick, everyday makeup look using some new products, y'all. This is all the new products that I purchased here and there. This is a bunch of drugstore stuff. So my goal is, to, is this all drugstore? Yes, it's all drugstore. So my, oh, minus um, this Fenty right here. But I'm going to be picking things out this basket to just try for the first time i did like some hand swatches but nothing crazy so i'm gonna toss up guys on what foundation that i need to wear tonight today is cinco de mayo so you know how we like to go out and have us a nice little tequila and a little taco so i'm trying to figure out what foundation you know let me get it. let me slow down what foundation i need to wear now you guys know i love my pears i love a good pair so my pair that I have here is Born This Way matte with the match with the concealer. Or my fave, Dior. <laughs> you guys know I love me a good pair. Or should I go ahead and use my Sephora Best Skin Ever with the concealer? I've never tried this concealer. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go with this because I've never tried this concealer before. I've tried both of those, so we know what that's like. So let's just get into it. That's going to be our concealer and our foundation. So let's pick out some stuff. Let me put this to the side. We're going to use the new e.l.f. This is the Neo, let me get it right, Neo side of my e.l.f. Power Primer. I hear the ladies like this one better than the other one. I do have the other one, you guys know. But I was itching to get this one, so now we have it. This is trash. <laughs> Put it down here. Let's get right into it. I did my skincare. I did a little moisturizer. Nothing too crazy. Let me move my mirror up. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So what are you guys doing today? I'm ex oh, this feels way thicker. Oh my God, this feels thick. This feels, <laughs> we're talking about power grip. This feels way thicker. Now I see why people like this. Oh my God. Talking about power grip. Yes, this is, this is, this is serious. If this keeps up, this is something you can definitely purchase. I'm going to add this in my, I'm doing a video coming up on um, like a drugstore starter kit. So for brows, we're going to use my NYX Micro Brow. This is my fave. I, I just can't get away from this. This is a new one too. And you guys know I'm not going to hold you with doing these brows. So let me just get these brows done. Brows are done. Took me longer than I expected. Then I didn't even do any cleanup. So I need to do a little cleanup because they're looking crazy. I just did my brows. So I'm going to clean them up while I talk to you. <laughs> but if you notice, I used, I didn't use a bright concealer. I used my foundation. And the reason would make why I did that is because I didn't want to have that like halo look. And sometimes it's hard for me to kind of fix it, just you know, being transparent. It's hard for me to fix it sometimes. Okay, brows are done. I'm liking them. This is like fresh brows. Like, I don't know what made me think to use the foundation. This is so much more natural. Like, you can kind of see like the it gotta calm down some because you know foundation has to oxidize so looking good so let's put the foundation on we sitting here playing around let's just go ahead and put it on i need to wash my brushes bad but um oh i need to wash my brushes something terrible i want to wash them before i um go on my little getaway so mm -hmm. but the foundation that i'm wearing just in case i missed telling you guys the shade that i am i'm using 57y 
I'm assuming why is for yellow, but it's not coming off with yellow. It's coming more off with a reddish orange tone. But you know, we are gonna um, tackle that. So I make sure I get my hairline. I'm so busy looking in the viewfinder and looking over here because I wanna see what everything's looking up. I can be looking at you, looking at you. So <laughs> the foundation is on. This goes down to more of a natural satin finish. It's not a matte foundation by any means. So, you know what? It may be a matte. No, it's natural, yeah. Like I said, mm -hmm. natural finish. So, it has to cool down. Cool down, cool down, cool down. Okay, so I'm looking a little bit, you know, on the more readier side for my liking. That's why I do like this foundation and my Dior because I, I'm, I'm used to that more natural and that more, um, just a natural, more cool tone, if you will. This is giving me a little, little bronzy or something going on. So let's get into the concealer. I did get 31Y. Brand new, loving, pop it open. Look at this. Ooh, fun stuff. <laughs> so, ooh, that's bright. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna blend this out. Got me a little scared. Y'all see that? That's I put a lot. This is a lot. Oh, I have some of these little sponges here, it's not wet, they're so soft. Mm. All right, let me, let me bounce this out. Because that brush was getting me scared. Whenever in doubt, get your sponge, bounce it out. <laughs> Can you see how it cooled down now? Now it's giving me more of a yellow, more highlight, you know, under eye. I like that a little bit better. But when I first put it on, it was definitely scary. Mm. So I did spread it out more so on my forehead. Normally I don't do that, but I want to spread it out just so I can get the concealer to kind of blend out. I like these little blenders here. This is the brand Cream Creme. I got this from TJ Maxx. Four of them came in here for $6.99 and you guys know how much it costs to get the real techniques. Those can be pricey. I'm going to go back and go get more of these because these feel nice. This feels really nice just to do this bouncing method. This is nice. Okay. So I'm going to go back and this is what I do y'all. I done lost my top. Now I got to fix my brows. Okay, so I found it. I don't know why this hair was in here with the new stuff. I was about to go have a fix. So I'm going to fix up my brows. I used this little brow gel from Physicians Formula. My brows are not looking how I want them to look. But they will do. They will do. It's about to be dark soon, so my brows can be all over the place. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, next up, I'm going to, so we're going to use this mascara. I'm just trying to find out what everything is, what's going on, what I got. So, I'm going to use this palette right here. This is my bronzer palette. This is Deep Dark. Look at this right here. I'm going to put this more lighter shade in my crease. Let me get this brush right here. Let me see if I can, I'm going to look in here and see. Let's peel this off. Oh, this is a good mirror. Okay, so I put some of this bronzer in my crease just to kind of warm some things up. Not Nothing too much. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going, okay. So I made a boo-boo. I put this on my lid, but this here, ah. Uh, God, and I put it on my cheek. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Whoo, I was getting nervous, y'all. I was getting nervous. I'm just trying to do a simple, simple look. Just trying to do a simple look. 
and it's, it's about to take me out. It's about to take me out. I'm gonna mess up my brows. My brows look crazy. Okay, we can't worry about it at this point. I'm, I, I, you know what? Let me just go ahead and finish up what I was gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is take my Fenty powder. This is the only powder I have, guys. I need to go purchase another, like more affordable powder. So I can, um, have affordable powder versus me using things that maybe not drugstore related. But I do have my Sephora powder that I should have used, but I didn't. It's okay. I used it. So I'm going to go in and spray, and I'm going to spray with my Caudalie. I know the name now. I said it enough times wrong. This is my new one. I want to put some blush on, but I'm a little nervous because I'm going out. I'm not going to put no blush on because I'm just nervous on how that's going to look. I need to do blush like when I'm not going somewhere <laughs> or wherever I'm going. I'm not, you know, so I'm not going to put no blush on right now. And I can't even get into this highlight. So I'm going to use this highlight. This is from Milani. So let's get us a nice, hmm, let's go a little pinky. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, God. I am underestimating the power of this makeup today. Ooh. For mascara, we're going to use the micro scope lift. See y'all, it's my first time using this thing. It's kind of a serious one. I will say off the back, it's a, the, the teeth or all, all the little, the brush is really separating my lashes. And it's making them look like more than what I have. I guess because, I don't know if it's a formula or if it's just jet black, it's not making them longer. It's just making them appear more yeah you can definitely see them i mean i'm having a time with my makeup today oh my god okay i was going to use this right here this is the oh no i wasn't going to use this i'm lying i was going to use this this is the hard candy um liner i'm not going to do it i need to do something that's familiar to me so my makeup can look and this is my elf i gotta go back to my overlap but me trying this new makeup today doing it on camera is, is 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 tripping me out right now it's tripping me out okay so i'm gonna go in with some more powder i did do my liner and that made me feel comfortable i'm more bronzy than i want to be right now i feel like i'm looking a little bit red you guys tell me i don't know that's how i feel but we shall see. And then this bronze is throwing me off because I'm used to this. It may be the same color, but it's just still throwing me off and it's making me feel some kind of, I'm just giving my honest opinion, but it's still a nice product. Anything that I tried so far that was new was, it's nice. Um, the Milani highlighter, it just threw me off a little bit because it just came out real potent because I've been using the same thing for so long. It wasn't my comfort zone. So I'm just getting thrown off a little bit, getting thrown off a little bit. I don't know <laughs> i don't know but let's get into these lips i don't think i bought any new lip products oh i did but i don't want to wear red today so we're gonna hold off on the, the everything else that's in this basket that's new and we are doing another video using the remainings we are doing another video using the remainings of the products that i did not use but for lips we're gonna get right into it um i'm gonna use my lip liner which is the NYX. I can't even get it out, Kelly. I knew I was gonna do that. Once I did my eyes up, I knew I was gonna put mascara on my lid, and I did. Okay, so this is the NYX. I'll get it off once it dry. I'll, <laughs> the NYX. This is the um, Espresso Pencil. Let 
Next, we're gonna use Huda Beauty. This is in Joyride. When these first came out, I was in love, in love. And Buxom White Russian. Okay, ladies, so here is the final look. This is a nice, simple, everyday makeup. You just throw on your makeup, you know, when you get comfortable to that point. But I just want to use some new products that I had to kind of just bring it in. I am going out Cinco de Mayo. So I was like, you know, it's a nice little cute little simple makeup. And you guys can see I have a little mascara right there. So we're going to work on that later once everything kind of dries down. But it looks nice. It came together. I was a little nervous. I was, I was like, okay why are you not working like you supposed to be working you know i need my foundation to do what it's supposed to do now this uh highlight concealer it's a little bit too bright for your gal so i may take this back and get something a little bit more um more warmer not so bright as that one but it turned out nice you know as everything pulled together let me know if you have any of these products let me know all my new products like i tried the mascara the e.l.f., the concealer, and this highlight. So, so far so good. I will say this is a nice mascara. I mean, it, they all do the same thing to me. 